Members of the Alabama Department of Transportation and local planning officials want to hear your thoughts about the new Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. In fact, there was a public meeting tonight. Our Brianna Hollis was at that meeting and she tells you what the new plan to ease congestion would look like and why truck drivers will be impacted the most. One thing everyone seems to agree on, there's too much congestion on the Bayway. Tonight, those working on a way to fix the problem mapped out phase one of the new Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. It includes building a truck bridge over the Mobile River. It will bypass the George Wallace Tunnel and eventually connect to the Bayway. And there will be a third lane added to the Bayway in both directions. The third lane will require no bridge construction. It'll be restriped to create that third lane. Unlike the last plan, which moved to toll the existing roads, the new idea would only toll that new truck bridge. Keith Bullard is worried tolling truckers will have negative effects. I think adding any kind of toll road is a bad idea. Uh, it's gonna, it's, no company's gonna eat the cost, so it's gonna make the food prices go up. Other concerns include a possible increase in truck traffic through Africatown for drivers wanting to avoid the new toll and safety concerns surrounding the redesigned third lane bayway. LDOT will immediately, they have all the cameras, they, they monitor that 24 7. They'll immediately have a truck out there. The public can submit official comment forms until May 26th. You can fill them out online at mobilempo.org or pick one up in person at the GMNO building in Mobile. The Mobile and Baldwin MPOs will then have a week to review them before their hearings in June. And even if they do vote to move forward with phase one, no construction will begin yet. That will just approve funding for an official study of all the plans. The public will get the final say on whether that moves forward. In Mobile, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.